Well, you guys go on to the golf course in Hawaii and some Frank Hawaii. Lee and I and all the girls went to uh, Hawaii for 19 consecutive Novembers. And <clears throat> we saw these lakes and we knew there's concrete bottoms. So instead of having a, a retriever, as it was called, where you picked out one or two, we thought we'd go there after the play and drag a, uh, a container like this uh, across the bottom of the uh, lake. Mm -hmm. And it was immensely successful. And it was at that time I got into uh, collecting logo golf balls, which at Whistler we have a table full of them. The kids play with them and one thing or another. And uh, <clears throat> that required a big volume of balls to find logos. So anyway, <clears throat> I equipped all my friends, all the guys at Quilchina, yeah. they always had golf balls from Hawaii, courtesy of Frank Lee and I. As it turns out, Jack's the one that golfs the most. <laughs> Jack and Mike, what a pair. <laughs> they gotta knock the cover off the ball. Our last gasp effort on our last trip there, we got so decrepit that we couldn't walk up to the lake. So I decided I'd find a way onto the fairway and we drove this car up. And we did it a few times, but this particular night, our last night there, um, we drove, the, you know, these new rental cars, or present day rental cars, the lights come on when you've turned the engine on. So we didn't have enough common sense to cover the lights. So <clears throat> we drive down to, onto this fairway. And what time of night is this about? Oh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock at dark. So we drive onto the fairway and we drive to the lake. And this particular night, Frank's at his end. I'm at my end, starting like this. And all of a sudden, a light comes at my back. It's the assistant professional golfer. Some of the people up in the, uh, on the side hill above us in the condominiums saw this light come on the fairway and they think it dropped into the lake because it disappeared. When we turned the motor off, the lights went out. They phoned the pro shop and up comes this guy. And uh, what the hell are you doing here? Two old farts, you know. <laughs> well, we were golfing today and we, in our group, we put about four balls in this, in this lake. This we're doing. trying to get them back. And anyway, they're not your balls anymore and they're mine. <clears throat> but we, uh, okay, we're trespassing. He says, you've got to come back to the office with me and I want, I'm going to call the assistant pro, uh, the pro, he was the assistant, and we'll see just where you stand on this matter. So he, I noticed he drove to the car and took the license plate number. So I knew we couldn't fly. <laughs> anyway, being law-abiding people, Frank and I went and waited for the pro to come. And he chuckled, you know, here's these two old men that are on his golf course, uh, taking golf balls that he really thinks were his. So I told him, you know, it's been in a court case before. You don't own those balls. Those balls are owned by the people that put them in there. And uh, this particular day, we happened to put some of them in there. Oh yeah, he laughed, you know. And he said, well, um, the big danger, and it's true too. He says, you're driving this car down our fairway and um, periodically there's a sprinkler head. And he says, you could hit that sprinkler head. You could break into our irrigation system and cause us a lot of damage. Other than that, fellas, have a good holiday. So that was the end of, uh, of the chastisement by the pro. But it didn't stop you? Oh, hell no, no, no. This is getting rather cold. So, Granite, you're, you're soaked from head to toe, so we've hurt you more than just four balls. Oh, God, I hope so. I hope your mother did well. How many, Vic? Six. Right here, six. 
you know, we brought home a lot of balls in, in wine boxes from Hawaii. And as a result, uh, we took them to Gambier, the poor ones. And we just drove them into the ocean, which again is a little illegal, I suppose. But uh, we've run out of that. And my neighbor, Rick Forbes, he buys them by the box now. Pays 10 cents each. Buys them 500 at a time. So I buy the odd box. But <clears throat> I'm not, oh, the, the, our guests are great at um, helping to put them in the water. Yeah. How many golf balls do you think you put in the water at Gambia? <laughs> oh boy, <clears throat> it's gotta be thousands, I only guess. There's an island but, right there. Yeah, there. probably. <laughs> and I'm not so sure that they, they may be a contaminating device if they're cut. Yeah. Most of them are not cut, you know, the, the outside skin. Yeah. Uh, that's a chance we have to take. But so far, there's been no one's tried to retrieve them. And I guess a, guy, a wetsuit guy could. Yeah. yeah. Make a lot of money. Yeah. Could lease out the land to him, lease out the water to him in front of your house. <laughs> <laughs>